Mr. Speaker, thank you for the opportunity for me to respond to Minister Chan's query yesterday. Dear Minister Chan, yesterday I attempted to get assurance from your good self that children in schools will not be vaccination differentiated. You may wish to know from ground feedback that many distressed parents are still trying to get reassurance from you and your ministry and to be very clear of your position. I see it as my duty as a parliamentarian to bring their valid concerns to this House. Yes, Minister Ong Yi Kang and yourself have given the assurance before. Uh, Mr. Leong, um, this is not to make another speech. You were meant to clarify, I think, the source of some of the feedback that you provided. Yes, Speaker, I'll come to that. Very you can soon. come to that yes. fairly it, immediately. Thank yes. you. In spite of that, I've sought to get your commitment of a more definite scenario that VDS would not be considered for children, at least until non mRNA vaccines are available for children, which you have avoided to answer directly. Mr. Leong, yeah, I'm not going to repeat to myself. Yes, thank you. You are here to clarify the source of the points that you made, not to repeat another speech. Okay, yeah. Point taken. The point I raised that some schools might have started practicing VDS is based on a screenshot from a telegram chat group, SG Concerned Parents, sent by a Facebook friend. The re relevant messages, among others, are as follows. One, quote, depends on school. My niece came back crying, saying her teacher scolded her for being unvaxxed. Uh, Mr. Leong, the question was about which school, where, and so on. Do you have those details? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going through the thing. No, you're going through the thing. The question which you said you will clarify, and the question was about which school, so that the minister could follow up on this, the allegations have made. Okay. Or is it just a screenshot from some Telegram page? Speaker, can you let me finish the... No, we're asking you to substantiate. I'm giving you airtime to substantiate what you said yesterday. So is that going to come out? Okay, or this information repeat, that I'm going to say... Or are you just going to repeat a screenshot? I'm going to repeat a screenshot. Do you know the source? Educate which school, etc.? There's no uh, a mention of the school on the screenshot. Okay, but this is public information. Okay, on the public domain, SG, concerned parents, a chat group with close to 6,000 members. So if the ministry wants... They can contact the persons. So, Mr. Leong, there is no clarification from you, therefore, is that right? As to which school and what specific. I have clarified where the information comes from. Which is from a Telegram page. Yes, but from not the, the You have no idea what the school was. You have not verified whether that was true or not, etc. Okay. Yes, I want to clarify that that is where I got my information. Yes. Okay. okay. And, um, Ms. Indrani, Raja. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, as Leader of the House, I would like to issue some salutary advice to the learned member. I have in this House before spoken about the importance of being able to substantiate allegations that are made in this House. And we have seen what happens when members make allegations which cannot be substantiated or are irresponsible. I wish to remind the member exactly what transpired yesterday. The member stood up and made an allegation that teachers in MOE were practicing vaccine differentiated measures. It is an allegation which is cast out there and besmirches teachers as a whole. Minister Chan Chun Singh stood up to ask for details of this allegation. And the reason why you provide details if you are a responsible member of parliament is because when you come to this chamber and you're given a seat in this chamber, 
you are expected to discharge your duties responsibly. When you make allegations against teachers and just cast it out there, you must be able to substantiate it. And that is why Minister Chan asked, please provide me with the details of which school and which teacher so that the Ministry of Education can follow up. What we have seen today is Mr. Leung Han Wai coming here, firstly, to grandstand and make broad allegations or, or broad speeches that have no bearing whatsoever on the details that were requested of him. We have seen that when you, Mr. Speaker, requested him to provide those details, he prevaricated and evaded. And now, finally, we discover that the details cannot be forthcoming because he's referring to a telegram chat where there are no details at all. So I just wish to conclude by reminding members that they are given the privilege of speaking in this chamber, and that privilege must be exercised responsibly, and I hope that that is something that the member will bear in mind. Is that point taken, Mr. Leong? Speaker, thanks. Can I ask the Minister? I'm asking you whether that point is taken. Um, I want to ask one question first. I'm asking you whether the point is taken. If you have no response to that, you can sit down. Thank you very much. No, I, I, I noted the point, but I have my question. Can you I ask no a question. question? No, you have no question. Thank you. We are moving on. Speaker? We are moving on. You can sit down. No, I want to ask what order. Then what is feedback. We proceed to read the orders of the day and the notice motion. Uh, Mr. Speaker, can I have uh, some one. time, please, to just uh, understand? Uh, it's a point of order. I understand uh, it started with a request for a personal explanation. Uh, am I right to say that? Mr. Leong was asked to clarify the source of his, the points that he made. Uh, yes, sir, but uh, I understand it was on the basis of a personal explanation which is how you introduced uh, the subject which Mr. Leong then started to speak about. Can I confirm that Mr. Leong put in a request understanding Order 25 for a personal explanation? Can I confirm that? The explanation was on the source of the points that he made yesterday. I understand. Uh, I'm asking you, sir, whether he uh, followed the procedure under the standing orders. He wrote to me uh, with regards to making a clarification on the question that was asked by Mr. Minister Chan yesterday. So it did not uh, follow the... He did not cite the specific issue of personal explanation, but that's a category that I'm putting it under. Thank you for that. I ask because when a personal explanation is made understanding Order 25, uh, you would actually receive the whole statement in full. So the assumption was when you mentioned personal explanation, you would have had sight of what Mr. Leong was going to say. That's the no. only reason I'm asking the question. No. So the, the content really was with regards to the clarification that he was supposed to have made as to the source of the point that he made. 